Architect David Child's design for Tower One was influenced by his own experiences on 9-11. I stood right here in this corner and, and looked at those buildings. When they fell down, suddenly there was this emptiness. You sense that loss because two enormous elements were missing. It's great to see it here, I must say. After all of these years of thinking and planning, and to see it in reality at the full scale gives you a, a sense of place uh, of the building that you can never have through any other kind of drawing. This particular project is so overladen with the emotion of what we watched out our windows. The sense of the obligation, the responsibility to make this something that is positive, not just a memory of the awful thing that happened, but how we as a culture responded. What did we do? Childs was set to retire in 2006, but stayed on an extra five years just to complete Tower One determined to see his last project reclaim the New York skyline. The final design, uh, I think, is a powerful one because it, uh, it is iconic and simple, and yet it is, in a way, a very strong visual relationship to the memory of the original buildings. Designed to evoke the memory of the Twin Towers, the new Tower One will rise to exactly the same height, 1,368 feet. But a 400-foot antenna on top of the building will take Tower One to 1,776 feet. 1776 is not just a clever number. It's a date that is the most important to me, the Declaration of Independence. That's the date which declared that all people have full human rights not just America, everybody in the world deserves rights, justice. Because it says something about our country, says something about what it really means. It talks about democracy.